Hello and welcome to Floyd Stadium in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's week number six action. Jake Sorensen along with color commentator extraordinaire Jim Pepper. Middle Tennessee will be the home team. What are their keys for today's game? This team should capitalize on their running game today, Jake. They simply have their opponent outclassed, and they should use this to their advantage. Expect to see some big numbers in their rushing stats. Southeast Missouri State is their opponent today. How do they stack up? The matchup to watch today will be how this team handles the opposition's passing attack. Now, if they can keep them from breaking any big plays, they just might turn the tide. Thanks for the keen insight, Mr. Peppers. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Number 22 gives the signal and we're ready to start. Ooh, great kick. Number 88 fields it in the end zone. Number 88 downs it in the end zone. It's first and 10. Number 10, from shotgun, gets a block, throws, and a 15. Ball on the 35. Number 7 is wide right. Number 10 will pass again. Number 10 rolls out, passes left. The pass is no good, incomplete. Number 88 swung around to the outside, but unfortunately the pass was outside his hands. Second and 10. Number 10 will throw once again. He's pressured. Number 10 on the rollout. Third and long coming up. Number 10 looked a little jumpy there and overthrew his receiver. Third and 10. Number 10 drops back. He's pressured. Bro. Number 36 hammers him after a couple of yards. The runner got a few there, but the D pulled it together and stopped him short to force the fourth down. Good perseverance. Number 13 takes position for his first punt of the game. It's away. Number 24 has it. Number 30 makes the stop on the return. Jake, I'm curious to see how this drive will start out. Ball at the 37-yard line. A gain of 10. Second and about a foot. Number nine goes with the shotgun. Number 33 gets it again. Great looking run to the outside. First down. First and ten. Number 33 is off the right tackle. Number 51 takes him down after a medium game. Ball on the 37. Number 39 will sit this play out. The Blue Raiders keep it on the ground. 25. The 15. He slices his way through the defense for a big gain and the first down. Number 33 really brought his lunch on that tough, tough play. Let's watch that again. Hello. A little attention getter to the tackler helps keep the play alive. The Blue Raiders have a first after a big run on that last play. Number 33 lines up behind the quarterback. Number 33 will run it. A gain of 12. First and goal. 
Number 33 is lined up behind the quarterback. Number 33 with the carry. Number 57 makes the tackle to hold them to a short gain of a few. Second and goal. That'll bring up third and short. Way to go, defense. That's how to send them packing. Amazing quickness on the outside to stop the play. The Blue Raiders have their tight end to the right. And touchdown. Number 33 is in the end zone. Number 22 lines up for the point after. It's away. 22 adds the extra point. Middle Tennessee puts up the first points of the game. They lead 7-0. Number 22 lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. Terrible kick. Number 53 gets it in the field. Number 26 makes a terrific tackle and holds the return man to a very small gain. Nice job. That field looks a whole lot shorter when you start a drive at midfield. Good job on the special teams part. Ball at the 47-yard line. Number 10, right back, pitches. A loss of six. Number 90 knocked them back so far, they're going to have to get their mail forward to it. What a shot. Oh, beautiful tackle. Certainly not what the offense was looking for there. It's now second and 16. The Indians line up with two tight ends. Number 10 rolls out, throws middle. Number 36 gets the tackle. Credit him with number three for the game. Number 18 makes the catch and what looked to be nearly impossible trip. It's third and two. Number 18 lines up wide right. Eight pressure. Cross is middle. The pass is incomplete. Number 90 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Number 13 will punt it away after a three and out. Nice placement on the punt. It goes out, which prevents any return and also puts them back fairly deep on their own side of the field. First and ten. Number 51 makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. That play was designed to go through the one gap, but he tried to go somewhere else, and look what happened. It's all about following your blockers. Number nine from the gun. He's Richard Bro. Number six was the intended receiver incomplete. Number nine thought his receiver had a fair shot at it, but the coverage was just too tight. You've got to admire a secondary that sticks with them that close. The Blue Ravens are going with their tight end. That'll bring up fourth down. Perhaps around three yards there. They are definitely short of the first. Number 20 comes into punt after a three and out. It's away. Number 88 catches it. Number 10 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. Jake, this has been a very tight game so far, and there's tons of time still left. I'm sure they would really like to put up a score here. Ball at the 49-yard line.
Number 11 clipped his man there, and the ref pinched him for it. And there's no room for that in college football. That's how people get hurt. The Indians will have the first down off the penalty. Number 11 gets set after committing the penalty. He pressured, sits in the pocket, throw. He's tackled, and that's his second catch of the day. Ball on the 16. Number 82 will sit this play out. He's breaking. Number 96 gets loose and puts a wicked hit on the quarterback. That's their first sack of the game, and he had to have felt that one. What a hit. It's second and 15. Number 10 steps back, pitches it, pro. That'll bring up third and very, very long. Number 82 was right where he was supposed to be near the sideline, but couldn't close the deal. It's third and 15. The Indians line up in the eye. Number 10 is back to throw again. Throws middle. That'll bring up fourth and very, very long. Where was that pass going? Those two were not on the same page at all. It will be a 38-yard attempt. There's the kick. It's no good off to the right. He surprises everybody, especially himself, by not nailing the field goal there, Jake. Well, he had a good look at it, too, Jim. Something must have thrown him off. Yeah, I wonder if somebody on the other team yelled Noonan right before he kicked. <laughs> that works once again. The Blue Raiders are going with three wide receivers. A gain of six. Ball at the 27-yard line. Number 33 lines up behind the quarterback. That'll bring up third down. Number nine had trouble with that zone in permanent lockdown. Outstanding coverage. If he continues playing a one-man zone so well, that secondary can really topple his offensive game plan. You know, that's right. It basically erases that receiver off the blackboard totally. Number 97 breaks through and takes the runner down in the backfield for a small loss. It's fourth and six, and they're going to go for it. 33 will carry again. The 35, the 45. Huge pickup to convert on fourth down. Good play call, terrific execution, and that will keep the drive alive. The Blue Raiders have a first after a big run on that last play. Number 33 lines up off right tackle. Number 43 will carry again. Number 35 stops that play in its tracks after only a couple of yards. Ball on the 48. The Blue Raiders line up with their tight end right. Number 51 makes that tackle his fourth. Great read by the defense on second down, where they shackled that little run to the outside really quickly. Third and eight. Number 33 with the carry. It'll be fourth and long. He was supposed to take that one through the four gap, but he was just a little too far to the right. Well, those blockers are there for a reason, guys, so you better use them. It's the end of the first half. Middle Tennessee is currently enjoying a slight advantage. 7-0. Number 42 sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter. Got his leg behind this one. Number 80 fields it deep. The tackle high. Number 49 makes the tackle on the return. This game is close with lots of time left, and you know they would love to lower the stress level by scoring on this drive. Number 9 from the gun spirals it middle. Number 51 makes the tackle. Good yardage on first down, and that's always a good thing because it really opens up the playbook. Second and less than a yard. Gets a block. Big time run. Gets the first down and more on that nice sprint. The Blue Raiders, with a nice run on the last play, will have a first down. Number 33 is lined up behind the corner. Number 33 hit the ball again. A gain of nine. 
You can see that it's going to take more than arm tackles to bring him down. He's an absolute load. Number 33 lines up behind the quarterback. It'll be third down. Number 33, it's third and five. Number nine, drop shotgun, drops way back, dumps it off, incomplete. Number 51, positioned himself perfectly to act as a human fence between the quarterback and the receiver and cause the incompletion. Very impressive. Number 20 will punt for the second time. Number 88 has it. Number 57 makes the stop on the return. Time for the offense to do their job. Let's check them out. Ball at the 20-yard line. Number 10 runs back. Pitches. Goes right. Played the tackle, but he was able to get his third reception of the game. Ball on the 35. Number 82 will sit this play out. Number 10 will put it in the air again. Bro. Number 47 comes in and makes the tackle. Number 33, it's second and about three. The Indians are going with four wideouts. Number four with the ball. Nice burst for a big gain up the middle. Give him the first down. Ball at the 46-yard line. Number four is the lone back. He's pressured. Number 10 pulls outside. Throw. Caught sideline. He's out of bounds, but the reception was made first. That's number two. A little roll out there, then they toss it out right. And complete it for a healthy gain. More importantly, however, they move the chains. Nice play. Number 18 will set this play out. Pitches it. Throw. He's put down, but not before he records his fourth grab of the game. The Indians continue to move the ball downfield. That's their fourth first down on this drive. Number 82 is off the left tackle. Number 10 will throw once again. Bro, incomplete. Number 12 managed to cut off the line from the QB to the receiver by putting his body in the path. That was crafty pass defense. There's no way the ball was getting to the receiver. Ball on the 14. Number 10 steps back. He's pressured. Dumps it right. That will fall incomplete, and that's their second in a row. Number 82 couldn't get it, and that's a tough break, Jake. There was room to run. He could have really turned that catch into a big play. Third and 10. The Indians line up with two wideouts. Number 10 will put it up again. He's pressured. Throws middle. Fourth down coming up. That was three incompletions in a row. Not a good series for the offense. Number 82 was there over the middle, but it was incomplete. Well, he should have had that. You know, the quarterback has got to be able to depend on his tight end as a safety belt. They've got some work to do. Number 42 lines up for the field goal. It's up. He missed it wide left. The pressure got to him, I think, and he was unable to put it through the uprights. You know, he's a pretty confident guy. I think he'll bounce back. Number nine from the gun. Throws left. A gain of 16. First and 10. Number eight will sit this play out. Nice block. Slices his way through the defense for a big gain and the first down. Number nine, piled on the yards. Take another look. He gets the first down and chooses not to go down. He saw his chance for a few extra and he took it. Great play. You know, it's not often. The Blue Raiders will have a first down after that outstanding run on the last play. Number nine lines up under center. Number 43 will get the down again. Personal foul, clipping. Offense, 15-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. The Blue Raiders have a first after a big run on that last play. Number nine from shotgun. Keeps dropping back. Throws. Number nine with the tackle. 
It's now second and 12. Number six lines up wide right. It's the end of the third quarter. Middle Tennessee is up, but it's still a close game. They lead 7-0. Ball on the 45. Number nine will pass again. Dumps it left. It's caught sideline. It'll be third in inches. Third and less than a yard. Number 27 lines up left. Number 95 makes the tackle in the backfield, and that'll push him back for a loss. It's fourth and six, and they're going to go for it. Nine from shotgun. Drops way back. Tosses middle. Yes, they get the first down to keep the drive alive. Gutsy performance on fourth. Great job by the quarterback and his O-line. He's not been sacked all game long. Number six will sit this play out. Fifteen. The five. And he's in for the score. Number nine sees his routes shut down and ends up taking it all the way for a touchdown. You know we're going to see this again. It's not often you see the quarterback having to run it in, even at the college level. Yeah, there's two sides to that coin for this offense. First, how come nobody else could get open and help him? Right, but secondly, you've got to give this quarterback high marks for taking it in himself. Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, that shows real chutzpah. Number 22 will line up for the point after. is good for the extra point. Middle Tennessee takes a two-score cushion, but anything can happen. They're up 14-0. Number 22 is back to kick it away. Not much behind this one. Number nine makes the catch. Number 54 will make the tackle on the return. Ball at the 27-yard line. The Indians line up in the eye. No gain on the play. Second and 10. Number 10 drops back. He's pressured. Spirals hit middle. That'll bring up third and long. Number 10 strapped a jet engine into a subcompact on that throw, Jake. Absolutely. He needs to take a deep breath so he's not rushing his throws. Yeah, because his read, it seems good. His distance, though, way off. He's pressured. Throw. Penalty marker down on the plate. Let's listen to the call. The Blue Raiders worked hard for that stop, only to have it negated by a penalty. Man, that's got to hurt. The Indians get a free first down from the defensive penalty. Number 11 gets set after committing the penalty. Number 10 will put it in the air again. He's pressured. Crosses left. The pass is incomplete. Number 18 was way in front of that catch, Jake. No way he could have gotten to it. As a quarterback, you can't expect a receiver to reverse course that quickly to rescue your wayward pass. Ball on the 37. Number 10 from the gun. Bro. Number 88 is looking for the ball, but it falls incomplete. Number 88 got to the outside like he wanted, but then missed the catch and couldn't capitalize on it. Third and 10. Number 10 pitches. East Missouri State has it. Number 10 is tackled after making a very smart play to recover the loose ball. Number 13 sets up for his third punt of the game. It's off. Number 24 fields it. Number 79 with the tackle on the return man. The clock is down to 128. The Blue Raiders tight end is lined up left side. Drops way back. Throws middle. It's tipped. The pass is incomplete. Number eight was open over the middle. No excuses for not getting a completion there. They're sticking to their game plan by controlling the game with their ground attack. Keeps dropping back. Throws. A gain of 16. Ball at the 34-yard line. Number six will sit this play out. 
Here's straight up the gut for good yardage and the first down. Ball on the 22. Number 39 lines up off the tackle. Number 43 gets it again. Number 51 applies the brakes yet again. His sixth tackle. Southeast Missouri State exercises their first timeout. The clock shows 59 seconds left. It'll be third and long. That was designed to go through the two gap, but he tried to venture out of his own and got nowhere. But well, you got to follow your blocking pattern. Third and ten. Number nine steps back. He's pressured. Spirals it right. Nice pickup on the third and long, and he gets the first down easily. Outstanding protection for this quarterback today. He's had plenty of time to sit back and pick and choose his targets at will. And he's in the end zone for six. Number nine had just a few strides to go and takes it in himself. There's the score. Got to be happy with that one. Obviously, that puts the quarterback in a vulnerable spot, but on those short ones, he can get in before the D really catches on. They're going to go for the two-point conversion. Number 43 with carry and get. They don't get the two-point conversion. Middle Tennessee, after the score, have a comfortable lead, 20-0. Number 22 sets up and will kick it away. Good kick here. Number three catches it deep. Number 39 comes in and makes the tackle on the return. The clock is down to 38. Number 86 takes him down and will get credit for the sack. It's second and 11. Throw down the middle. The pass is no good, incomplete. Number seven saw that one come way in front of him. Hey, if he knew it was coming, the receiver might have been able to sprint forward and snag it. Yeah, but he was totally caught by surprise. You know, they need to get on the same page. He's pressured. Number 10 on the rollout. Spirals it middle. Fourth and long coming up. Boy, have these boneheads got some work to do. That pass looked like it was switching schools. Number 13 is back to take the snap for his fourth punt of the game. There's the punt. Number 24 catches it. Number 69 makes the tackle, but not before a great return. Some nice open field running there. Just 11 seconds remaining. Number 9 from the gun drops way back. Bro, the pass falls incomplete. Number 33 was staked out in the middle, but couldn't make the catch. And as you know, Jim, sometimes backs are more focused on the run than the catch. That's where the problem lies. Number 9 will pass again. He's pressured. Number 51 applies the stopper. His seventh tackle of the game. There's the whistle, and that's the end of the game. Middle Tennessee simply ran away with this one, 20-0. That's going to wrap it up from here. On behalf of Jim Peppers and the crew, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to today's contest. We'll see you next time for more of the best of NCAA football.